Waswahili hao walingue Yo hiyo Akina dada kutoka kosti Na maimamu wako wako pia Amevalia kanzu babu Wangu kali penda tembele Toto la ini la ini Hiyo ni modern, hiyo ni modern Sio ya kutoko kama yetu This is modern dance Wale wakisasa, wakisasa Mauno Nyumba nogo yeye Tena ni memu ganda mumeo Kama kitwa na kiswa kusina ubaya Wana nyakua bila uoka Itukia
guests all protocols up our pindia parents and graduates good afternoon bwana yesu azifiwe bwana yesu azifiwe i want to take this time and i believe i'll take the shortest time possible to bring on board the teachers who have handled these children both in low primary and upper primary nataka niwaru niwaite wale walimu tafadhali mahali mlipo just rise niwaone tu alafu mkaketi wako wapi walimu wa mara I know they are committed elsewhere but to apigie makofi walimu wetu wote mahali walipo clap for our teachers tafadhali I want to thank you so much for finding time to be here with us as to grace this occasion This is a very important occasion in the lives of our learners because i know we are writing history from today one day you will look back when these children are doing their phd's some will be doing their masters and you show them these photos you are taking here and you will tell them this is the far the lord has brought you so i want to bring on board the head teachers of the two schools tafadhali madam emily and uh, madam lilian karibu msalamie tu i love to attend our chief guests our directors our dear parents our graduates and the whole Marel fraternity. I salute you all. Good afternoon. I am Ajambo Emil, head teacher, Marel Junior. Be blessed. Guest of honor, distinguished guests, our directors, 
dear parents, teachers, our special visitors of the day, the graduates, and all gents and ladies. Good afternoon. I take this opportunity to introduce myself. I'm Madam Lillian Wanyama, head teacher, Marel Academy. Welcome one, welcome all. Thank you. Thank you so much, the two heads. We are working together as one. And that is why all of us are here. I want to take this time to say that even in amongst us, we also have our partners. People we are partnered with, and in this I want to recognize the banks that are represented here. You know, things have not been very good. Even during the corona period, the banks stood with us. There are schools which wound up, there are schools which closed their gates, but because of our partners, we are here and you are still thriving. Karibu sana, our guests. Karibu. Sante, Equity Bank is represented here. I want to bring on board the local administration, the interior department. You might think I'm, I'm here illegally, but I want to say we are allowed to hold this meeting. And with us, we have our village elders. Wa East na West wote wako. Nataka ni wakaribishe ni kasa wawili alafu wata niletea my assistant chief. Karibu. Mwana mama pepe changa. Kwa shule, 
apate elimu. Na elimu ni certificate ya mtoto ambaye ya maisha. Hakuna kitu kingine kushinda hapo. Hata shamba sio kitu elimu mtoto wako atangara na kungarisha area. Karibuni sana. Niko my chief area chief. You are welcome madam. Director, parents, and all visitors. Good afternoon. I'm Madam Christine Wasike, the Senior Assistant Chief, Amamka Sublocation, where we are seated. It is in Skoma location, Bungoma South. First of all, I thank God to have given me uh, the director of Marel Schools to have had that dream to bring one of the Marel Schools in my area of jurisdiction. Parents, I would like to encourage you you made the rightful choice to bring your kids in Marel schools. Me as an administrator, I feel if all parents can think the way parents of Marel schools thought Kenya would be fine. Parents, I know if you have wealth and you pass on, you might leave your property not in safe hands if you miss a child who is well disciplined and educated. So, parents, I ask you to make sure that all of us, we make sure that our kids are well educated and disciplined. And also I should thank the director. Me as an administrator here, he has given me easy time, especially the time of 100% transition I'm proud of him. We have vulnerable children in this school, whereby the director invited them and they are getting free education from this school. So, director, thank you so much. You are a very a big person and of much importance to my community. And at the same time, Marel Academy, as you know, it is one of the best schools in Bungoma. And in my area, I only have uh, one uh, uh, private school and two public schools. And uh, the director connects well with the schools. Even the schools come to benchmark here. And also the school are doing well. So thank you so much, Mr. Director, and to your teachers. And at the same time, this is goes to the parents. Parents, the school have closed for a long time. I urge you, parents, if our kids come to school, make sure you be close to them. Take them to church and tell them the values so that when the time will be closing, we find the kids the way the teachers have given you. Okay, thank you so much for listening to me, but parents to make a beautiful choice and Mara is a secure place for your kids. Let's unite and make Kenya shine. Thank you so much and encourage others to bring kids in Bell Academy. Thank you.
you so much. Sante sana, Mpige Chief Mabufi Jamai. Sante sana, our sister Chief. You have said it all. Hello. How are you all? My name is Ed Gawandera from Bapo Africa, Bungoma Branch. I'm happy to be in this place. When I was a young kid, I schooled in Nambale, boys high school, so for boys primary school. But my chief desire was to be in Marel Academy. I used to hear about it, I used to read, to, to, to read about it, and today I'm lead to stay in Marel. I've just come to motivate everyone here. There's a space for all of you. Welcome. My name is Richard Davis Igani. I'm the branch manager for Bank of Africa, Ngoma branch. We are here to say congratulations to the graduates. Munisalamie. Watoto munisalamie. Congratulations. Asante sana for achieving this today. Uh, mine are simple. Bank of Africa is an SME bank. It's a bank that is committed to support the community. And in that, we want to assure our partner, Mariel Academy, that we are here for you. We will do our best to ensure our community is empowered through education. So I believe the, the directors will work and we will do good to this community. And I wish to clarify to the larger community that the Bank of Africa is for everyone. If you feel that you have a need, especially a financial need, kindly visit our branch. Thank you so much and be blessed. Sante, thank you so much. Sasa mimi nimi naanza kufunza wajuku. Ipigieni makofi kwa hiyo jamani. Eh, hey, wameanza kuleta watoto hapa. Nataka ni wakaribishe eh, Winnie, Sharon and Karen. Come over and when they speak, Mr. Kango has spoken. Tuanze na Sharon, salamie. of this school and we are proud that we have produced this kind of products. Adam Sposema Amen. In a Jew and Badom Meskia. Yeah. And we are saying please don't listen to propaganda. If you have chosen Marel, bring your child in Marel. Because as you continue listening to Vitina, we are churning out professors. We are churning out engineers, we are churning out doctors. So welcome. And uh, now I want to take this chance also to say welcome on behalf of Marel Schools. Everything else has been spoken. I want to say you are privileged and we are also privileged to have you here. And this day is an important day to us as a school. Because this year we are marking our 30th anniversary at the end of this year. Marel has existed and it has stood the test of time from the year 1992. So you are the 30th team we are graduating today. So I want to say congratulations to all graduates. Congratulations to all parents. This is the pride of a parent. Any parent will want to see this. And therefore, I want to say, as we have closed schools, I also want to use this chance to say our interviews are open. We shall be having our interviews on the date of 2nd of April. 2nd of April is our main interview date. If 
if you have a child, both in 844 and in CBC, we admit. And we are admitting all from ECD up to standard yet. But we are doing it on merit. When the child qualifies for the interview, we shall admit. We have enough space and we can accommodate as many as the space allows. I also want to say CBC has come with its own share of challenges. I know as parents we have been greatly involved. And I want to thank all of you parents, those who have been involved, those who have been cooperated with the teachers. And you have never heard of a folk song anywhere. But somehow you try to scribble something and you give to that child. Congratulations to our parents because you are doing a good job. I also want to say that uh, as we close, CBC is here with us. There is no way we can do away with the CBC. Those who thought that it will be there for some time, and then we revert back to 844, we are saying it looks like we are here, CBC is here, and therefore we must accommodate CBC. So maybe you are wondering about the future of Marel. What is the future? What are the plans? We have planned, we have three centers, that is Kibabi Junior, we have a school in town, that is Marel Academy, and we have this school here. This school has been picked by the management to host the junior secondary school. Glad for this school. So we are saying, as our children get to class 7, grade 7 and 8, they will all be accommodated here. The facilities are there. This school stands on an expansive area of about 30 acres of land. Therefore, we have no problem with the space. When you meto kea uko ni shamba ya shule, ukienda east shamba ya shule, south shamba ya shule, we have enough space, more than enough, even to host a university. So I want to appeal to you, those who have been in doubts, we are hosting junior secondary school in this place. Hello. Lastly, I want to say, because I know we are, we are, we are behind our schedule, you are most welcome, as I welcome uh, Representative, a parent representative.
work that has gone into preparing for this occasion. Finally, to all our graduates, my heartiest congratulations to you on complimenting another, on completing another huge milestone in your learning journey. May your years ahead continue to be characterized by empathy, compassion, objectivity, and willingness to take risks. May you always lead by example and work hard and play straight. May your success be many and your tribulations be few and far between. We wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. It has been an honor and privilege watching your progress and success. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon to you. Please feel welcome, and the graduates, we are very happy for you to be here. Thank you. This great man of God came around, he spoke to our learners, our candidates. They were really blessed because he also prayed for them. I want to give a chance to Dr. Robert Wafula, a lecturer at the University of, of Kibabi, to come and address you in five minutes. Yeah, the chickens with a friend and a mentee, uh, Jill Digambo. The directors were equally friends, and I've seen a number of colleagues of mine from Kibabi University. I want to say I'm grateful to be here today, just to share one or two things, and I'll be done. I, it so happens that uh, I am the team leader of early childhood program in Kibabi University. We have an undergraduate program and we soon will be having a master's program in the same line. Uh, the line of discipline is developmental psychology. I have worked in this line of education for quite some time. And I want to affirm uh, with what uh, other speakers are saying, I am pleased with the foundation that is being well uh, laid down by Marel Academy. It's true that I know a number of students that have gone through this institution and are doing very well. So I want to encourage uh, the parents and I lay all the fears that uh, your children are in the right hands. Allow me to talk something briefly about CBC. And as we are told, CBC is here to stay. The government of Kenya made a commitment 10 years ago that at a time such as this, they will be transiting to CBC. I've had a chance to travel to two countries and I've seen that CBC is a good program in giving support. I was in Israel in 2017 and I realized that the program they are running is equivalent to CBC. The same year I had been in South Africa and I realized that they are implementing CBC. CBC is about identifying the potentials of your child and turning them into a career. I call it changing passion to profession. Many of our parents do not want to be involved in their children's education. That is why they are lamenting and making noise. But I want to tell you parents that if you dump your children in the body, and leave them there until they reach university. When you will be old, as we are aging, you will need them to be closer to you, but they know that they only need to support you with money. You let get them to America, and they will hire somebody to look after you. They will not give you any protection and social support. You will have great photographs, of engineers, lawyers on your world are a miserable and lonely parent because you never bonded with your children. 
it is very important to participate in the education of your children, support them emotionally, support them morally, and when they grow up, they'll definitely have a room to stay with you. As a scholar, I'm a senior lecturer, I have done a book on identifying and nurturing the talents of your children. For those who are savvy, you can find this book on Amazon. Uh, I have a few people who have been picking it from different parts of the globe. And uh, what I want to say about this book briefly, one of the screening tools is from a psychologist by the name Howard Gardner. Gardner talks about multiple level of intelligence. Children have around seven kinds of intelligence and that we can change it to their profession. There are screening tools that are within this book. I've also looked at personality and career, body structure, morphology and career, the role of teachers in identifying passion and uh, importantly, the children's passion. As I conclude on multiple level intelligence, I saw one young man, young boy, who is very good in kinesthetic intelligence. The young boy who was acting an old man. Very original, very authentic, very real and competent. That is a man who can live by acting that is a man who can live by changing the Hollywood, the Nollywood, and the acting scene in Kenya. We have seen us. I saw dancers there. That is a form of intelligence. We need to support them. We have those who are good speakers that can turn out to be journalists. We need to support them. We have people like the one who organized this environment, those who love nature, and organization of beauty is a form of intelligence. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I want to say this. It is better to build children than repair broken others. Do your best to build your child and you will retire peaceably and happily. At 1,000 shillings, you can get this book to support you. God bless you. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for having this opportunity to be with us. I know we'll be working together many times to come. I'm in charge of careers at the university. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's have a clap for the Dr. Begin at the time, I'll to the Thank you so much, Dr. We still honor you. Our children went away. The candidates and they have to store they have a story to tell about you. They have learned they learned something from your motivational speech. Uh, he came around and we are happy. Thank you so much. I want to bring on board our chief guests. The chief guests is coming on stage. I want total silence. Walimu, mwangalia mahali wanafunzi wako. Let us have total silence. I want to bring Madam Jael Bigambo. And who is Jael Bigambo? Who is this lady? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not just here to unveil any other ordinary woman. Jael Bigambo is an accomplished scholar who has scaled the heights of education from a very, very humble beginning. From a P1 teacher, she went, read books, she did her degree, the graduate. She did her master's. And currently, she's through with her PhD, and that's why we call her Dr. Jill Bigambo. 
So this is not just any other woman. I want to say we are honored to have you here. You are a woman of substance. You are a woman who was worked hard up to where you are. Nipatia kumu inyatu simane, tulabo mkaribisha our chief guest to address us.
In the context of it, schools in Bungoma County and even in Kenya, Barrel Academy is a shining star, a giant whose name brightens up the eyes of many whenever it is mentioned. Through the gates of Marel, so many learners have worked and this country is guaranteed of many professionals, many of whom have been modeled in the classrooms in this compound. So as we witness this graduation of a new generation of learners, we are witnessing the beginning of a journey in the beautiful hands of Marel Academy.
Marenda Academy is a cut above the rest. The history of this school is a history of sacrifice, greatness, and commitment. And commitment. I'm confident that their future is bright, even more bright than what it is today. And rather minds, their minds have been molded to take up a vigorous learning in the years. future, molding the type of person you want. We have people like Kipchoge, Keino and others who have benefited from talents and so we would encourage the teachers and the Marel community to go on nurturing the talents of these children just like we have seen so that in future they can go the line of talents and still be very important contributors of knowledge in this global world. Now, I will remark on what I've just read. We have small children graduating today. In invest in Even if you bought all the vehicles, and built all the houses and bought all the nice dresses and enjoyed all safaris to America and back. And you don't invest in your child. That is our Because all that you have done in years will be brought down in a day because that child lacks education. So when you are in Marel Academy and you are paying more than what other people are doing and you feel you are wasting money, please, you are not wasting money. You are trying to make your child better than what you are, uh, you are or what your parents may be. We know very well that the world is Just a, a beautiful girl 
with morals and principles will recommend your daughter or a son with morals. So let us make all round children. Children we can take pride in. Children who can sell our names in and outside the country. Children who can use whatever they have been given to help themselves become important people and live their lives. Now, as we handle the children, we should also know children are celebrated worldwide. We have days when children are celebrated. So, we should know that children have and are defined above Marel to what Kenya as a country and in the whole world. UNESCO talks about education as a mode of giving access to learners, especially at that level, and a mode of equalizing people. That's why we have to give quality education. Children access education, and education must be quality. And when it's quality like that, we become equitable. You can go to families where bread was never eaten. These days it is because of it. Where people never wore shoes. These days they wear shoes because of it. I remember when we were going to school, we were motivated by one thing. So we were working so hard to eat bread. And then when I, where I come from, it was a, a train terminal. So we were being told, So it was a motivation. Tell those children about bread this children here. They won't even look at you and they not even listen to you. You need to redefine their goals according to the present world. Redefine the goals of you. Don't take free to America when they perform well. At this level, also help the children to understand what success is and what failure. As they celebrate like this, they celebrate, they are graduating. They are learning that when you do something good, you are rewarded. So they are being rewarded. Let children know that failure is not good. Tell them success is important. So let them try to find themselves in terms of success. You can give them simple tasks that they can manage. And out of the simple tasks well done, you reward them. And you tell them that is success. So that they grow up embracing success and not enjoying it. I speak in China. My dear parents, we have rights of children in the Constitution 2010, and one fundamental right of children is education. But as we say like this, these children at this level, the ones graduating, these beautiful and handsome boys, are facing challenges from this hostile world. A world that has so, so much that does not advantage children. Let us try to protect our children as much as we can. Abraham Maslow says security is priority in a motivation of a child. Let's give our children security. Security starting from home to school. Where do you leave your child when you are going on job? Whom do you trust with your child? Who ferries your child from home to school? Those people you trust, the very close relatives, whom you always help 
and live with in your houses and provide everything for are the ones who destroy your children. Many of them end up sexually molesting your children. Both boys and girls. And you may not know your child is being molested until later in academic life when the child is not able to go. It's when the teacher realizes this child was molested. Many of you lock your doors, go to job, and you go with the kids and you tell uh, the, your child, go to school when you come back, stand outside and get you there. And you have locked a TV in the house, locked all the things that are precious to you. And because a child is not precious to you, you have left the child away. Dear parents, education is a milestone. It takes one, two, three, four things to have somebody succeed in education. Most contributor of education is emotion. And when children are emotionally destroyed, they may not cope. They may not cope with education. Your parents, the people you tell give your children you have hired a vehicle and a You have hired a You don't have time. From job, you go to make your hair and to make your nails and whatnot. And you are paying a lot of fees at Marina Academy. And when the child is not doing well, you come to ask the teacher, why is my child not doing well? We are not looking at other countries. Let us keep us the keepers of children. Now as I finish, these young children have a lot of questions that need to be answered. And I hope teachers you are ready always to answer them. Some of them ask very funny questions. And however funny they may be, please answer those questions. Because you are psychologically building this. There is a child whose father is a lawyer. And the baby is in BB1. And one day the baby asked the father, And the father said, I love my job. That's why I put on school. And the kid went to school and asked the teacher, why do you do you like your job? The teacher looked at the girl and told the God has already separated. Lastly, I want to give you a word from Exodus. Exodus chapter 2, verse 9. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 9, the Pharaoh of Egypt decided to kill all baby boys who had been born of Israelite. And first he ordered that the midwives kill all children born of the Israelite people. The midwives did not kill that. Then now all children who had been born of Israelite women were supposed to be killed. I want to tell you what a mother is. And when I'm talking about a mother, I'm also talking about fathers. Because in pain, you all celebrate the birth of a child. You can never give birth to a child and kill that particular child. But at times we kill our children psychologically. 
Yeah. Look at what is happening in Ukraine. Yeah. Wars. Stabilize children, stabilize communities, stabilize families, and leave children emotionally and physically displaced. So what do we do as parents? Let us take decisions that may be painful, but for the purpose of our children. Never demonstrate violence in, in the presence of children, quarrels, misunderstandings, because they affect children. If we have to do it, let us do it out of the reach of children. In Ukraine, there is a girl I saw on media who confronted a soldier. Handed like this, a small gun, 14 year old. A soldier with a, with a gun and the gun with empty handed. But she went and slapped the soldier. What are you doing in my country? That is what children are. They are so focused, they are so bright, so intelligent. They understand the environment that is good for them and that that is bad for them. This lady went and hid her child in the Nile River. And when the kid was taken by another relative and given to Pharaoh's daughter, Moses was socialized in the palace. But always remembered that he was an Israelite. Was an Israelite? and was socialized into the values of an Israelite because it's the mother who took care of him. <laughs> Parents and teachers, what you put in the head of the child today will live there for hundreds of years. It will never change. Thank you so much. Is that enough for the chief guest? Tum pigi ya makofi jamani, madam. Piga makofi, piga makofi. Pigi ya makofi, mbaka niseme usmame. Piga tena. Asante. Thank you so much, madam. Madam is also a great servant of God. We are coming to the peak and the climax of this event. I think we are left with one major event here of confirmation and then commissioning of our graduates. So I want to ask the teachers who handle the graduates, make sure the graduates are here with us. As we welcome this man of God with a good song, a quote to address you, make a few remarks, and then he will commission and pray for our learners. Let's pray. Our Lord and our God, in Jesus' name, we've been gathered here because your word says in the last days knowledge will increase and many will be studying to get the knowledge. We have come because our children are going through the gaining of knowledge. Lord, we thank you for our chief guest who has addressed matters education, the role of the parents, and the participation of the communities in raising up children educationally. We thank you, Lord, that as we get to hear your word and to commission these children, your grace will be there and the grace will go with them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give a clap to God. Asante. You may be seated if, if you are standing. 
I want to appreciate our chief guests, the directors of Marine Schools, the teachers led by the various head teachers and the chief principal, Mr. David Kango. I uh, want to thank God for this school, that this school acknowledges the place of God in the lives of the children. This school believes that knowledge without God is a waste. If you raise up very academically prudent, excellent people who have no God, you have raised thugs who will destroy the nation. Where we are in Africa, and in Kenya particularly, we really cry. Economies that are going down, trouble everywhere, few people to trust. But these people are holders of high levels of certificates in education. They are leading the countries, but they are going nowhere. The best place to begin is in God, I'm sure even many parents believed God to get these children we are now celebrating. They didn't just come. If one came as an accident, I'm sorry, in your sight it's an accident, but in God, it is a destiny defined. Praise the Lord. Yeah, so these children didn't just come. They came because they were in the plans of God. Some were God illicitly, but God was in God in ensuring that these children live to fulfill their destinies. The book of Proverbs 22 and verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is of age, he will not depart from it. Train a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. They say that you can only manipulate fish when it is still raw. Once they mature and grow and dry up, if you try to fold them to any shape, they'll break. So we give the children the spiritual foundation and God goes with us to make them fulfill their destinies. The psychologists are here, up to now, Dr. Ofula, and my daughter Jail, I just realized she's a namesake to my elder daughter. The name Jail is a very powerful name. Uh, names of very encouraging and courageous women. Women who are called go-getters. Wana Yesu Asifiwe. My Jail is doing Form 4 and she's the president of Candidate Two Girls. Mm -hmm. She has shown the sights, and I know she's getting somewhere. If you put the children to God, God takes charge, and God blesses them, and God raises them. Some of us parents do weird things to raise the money to pay for the children. Weird. If we don't pray for your children to get blessed, they may carry the same things into their adult life. So we come to bless them and we come to commit them to God. Children are great imitators. Someone said, give them something great to imitate. Don't give them 
funny things like drunkardness to imitate. Don't give them smoking bang to imitate. That is not great. Eh. Wana sifiwe. Give them something great. Hallelujah. And someone great like teacher Kango and my daughter Joy like Dr. Wafula to imitate. Uh -huh. Great men like Elis Ominde to imitate. Great women like Mama Mera Ominde to imitate. Great daughters and sons like the ones who've gone through this school and are somewhere. Don't give them pithy trends to imitate. Wana sifiwe. With all your soul and with all your strength, take to heart these words that I give you today. Repeat them to your children. Talk about them when at home or away, when you lie down or get up. Write them down and tie them around your wrist and wear them as headbands. Praise the Lord as a reminder. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Wana asifiwe. Embrace the principles of God in your family. Pray with your children. I've seen many a father tell their wives to pray. They want to go to sleep. Most fathers don't pray. They tell their mamas to pray. And the children copy. Finally, when they are challenged, they come to mama and share what they go through. Because they didn't see the father so close to God. Fathers and mothers should be close to God. Uh, someone said, don't just try to become a man of success. Rather, become a man of value. If you succeed and you have no values, you are wasted. I may call President Kibaki to tell you something. And I know what he will tell you. Wana yesa sifiwe. Ata kwambia pure kabisa. Pure sada. Hafa seme kitu ingina hapo ya kuku. Children are a heritage from the Lord. They are a gift from Him. And the Bible says, blessed is He who has many of them. Why? For they will meet with the enemies at the gates. If you have children, you have been told, The more you have, the relevant you are for me. I want to call the teachers who are presenting the graduates to come forward. Tell you say, say that you in choose in one month, in one week, you will sing a new song in two days, a lesser than you will hear. Congratulations, you're a sin.
them say, them say that That I can never be all that I see, I've seen that God is greater than that Who can battle with the Lord? In honor of the graduates, as I make this declaration, all silence by the powers conferred upon me by the Basic Education Act 2013, revised 2019, I do hereby declare you taught, examined, and promoted to join the primary school level and do all that appertains to the CBC curriculum of the primary education. Congratulations. To Akigema Kuto Asante. Next, I'll invite the teachers to come with the certificates. Where are the certificates? Because of the numbers, I'll ask the chief guests to award certificates to the first 10, and then the rest will be given to the learners accordingly. So, Asante. Congratulations. Congratulations. Christian Mongetele.
In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, study to show yourself approved as a workman of God, correctly dividing the word of truth. Lord, we thank you for the knowledge that these children have gained from this school. We thank you for the teachers that have handled them. Lord, may you use the teachers to bless others and bless the work of their hands. We reverse any curse inside their lives. In the name of Jesus, we destroy any foundations, anything that may make their way not to flow. We remove it in the name of Jesus. We speak good health. 
We speak long life. We speak sobriety in their minds. We speak the right values inside these children. And Lord, that you bless the parents with the resources to take them through school from grade one up to university. That this graduation they have done here would only suffice as a rehearsal for various subsequent graduations that will come their way locally and abroad. We thank you, Lord, because Marel schools are blessed. The directors are blessed, their teachers are blessed, and the teachers are blessed. We pray, Lord, that as these children proceed to the next level in grade one, you will go with them and you will bless them abundantly. We thank you for doing it for us now and forever. In Jesus' name, we pray and everyone say, Amen. Amen. Amen.